Hey players, this is Fraser, and today I'm going to show you how to use mouse.button1 down or mouse.button1 up. Um, if you look up Roblox LU Wiki, mouse dots, uh, or mouse actually just by itself, you'll find a list of all the functions you can use with mouse in the properties section or if you scroll down. This is really handy because um, it shows you what you can and can't do with uh, functions in regards to that object, mouse. There's also player mouse, but that's a different story. Um, you can search up anything, like if you're curious on how, to, like what functions you can actually use with it. Um, so yeah, once you learn the basics of scripting, all it takes is a uh, learning what you can use with what function to activate it. A mouse. Whoops, mozu. Mouse equals player get mouse. Get mouse is an inbuilt function that gets the player's mouse. This is necessary beforehand to tag the mouse. Um, you only need to do this once, so don't worry. You don't need to use get mouse every time you use a function in regards to the mouse. Um, it's mostly so that we can use the connection line beforehand. Uh, the function uh, color change. Why it's called color change, you may ask, is because I want to make the part that's clicked on with our left mouse change colour. Well actually, actually good idea. Um, I, I'll make the colour change back when the player clicks on the right mouse too, but uh, first things first. Oops. Mouse dot button one down connect colour change. And now we put our nice wee code here. Print. Uh, you don't need to copy this, but changing color of. Oh, wait, first, actually, I should explain something. Yeah, what I'm about to do here is uh, make a reference to the mouse's target. Uh, what um, mouse target is, is um, it's what your mouse is over. Uh, when you move your mouse across the screen, what's happening behind the scenes is a mouse.target is changing to the part that the mouse is facing. Unless your mouse is like pointing towards the sky, because the um, skybox, is it called, um, isn't a part, so nothing will show up. What this is allowed to do is is um, click in players' parts and stuff, or um, items in the map, and um, you can even use it as a weapon to like uh, maybe clicking a player and then uh, uh, clicking a character and then shoot like a rocket launcher homing towards them. I actually made a nice wee uh, script in, <laughs> based on the anime Batum the other day, which I'll show you after this video, um, which does the uh, as stated is not equal to nil, then ends. Changing color of mouse dot target dot name bright red okay and what I'm going to do is change the color to bright red in here so uh, mouse dot target dot brick color equals brick color dot new bright red and that's that open output now. If you've not got properties in Explorer open, um, I would open them now. Although to access the script you've probably already opened that, so yeah. Changing colour of base plate to bright red. And it changes colour. The reason I like printing stuff is so that I know when a script goes wrong, because if um, it doesn't if it prints some things and doesn't print other thing, I know roughly where the script went wrong. If it isn't already like posted um, in a red error message in uh, output, um, I like making fancy ones like this though, so that I don't get bored while scripting. <laughs> um, now what I'm going to do is make um, mouse dot button one up connect on color <laughs> change. Uh, function uh, actually, I can just copy this. Uh, 
and changing the colour to mint grey. I was pretty sure it was called mint grey, but just in case. Not like it matters though, because it changes to like a greyish colour if you get it wrong anyway, so. And enable and disable. Whoops, I forgot to um, change the function name to uh, uncolor change. And as you can see, when I click down, the color changes, and when I click up, um, <coughs> the color unchanges. Now, to you it might seem like no time has passed, but um, what I've done is um, changed things up a little so that I made a local variable, um, or a local string more like, called parto, and then when the mouse target is not equal to null and a bricks clicked, parto is tagged as mouse.target, and then when you um, your mouse is released, it changes the part's name, I mean the part's colour, back to mid grey if parto is not equal to null. Note that this doesn't use mouse.target, um, so that if you did use if mouse.target is not equal to nil in the um, uncolor change function, what it would do is um, if you clicked in the part, moved your mouse up to the sky and then released it, it would bug out and the part would be forever red. Um, so you could use this for like um, first person shooters and stuff, or fighting games, I don't know, um, or even brick tools. Um, so yeah, uh, what I'm going to do here is um, add a few bricks in and turn this into delete tool with a few small moves. Let's say you wanted to make a building game, this would be a good delete tool. Um, insert... Uh, name it uh, what I would do is give the parts that I don't mind being deleted a deletable value um, and I would probably give them that, that value when they're created with a like um, brick add tool or something and then I would uh, do like so and part no mouse dot target find first child deletable then yes no caps uh, is equal to nil because that would mean that somebody else is trying to delete at the same time um, Uh, including yourself actually. Um, and then here we do the opposite. If part of the is not equal to nil. And mouse.target finder is not equal to nil. Um, then uh, instead of turning its colour to mid grey, part of remove. Oh. No, uh, sorry. Mouse.target remove more like and I'm going to clone shit I mean oh okay well it's deleted now <laughs> um, I was going to clone it first but then I forgot that this script activates when I click on something so um, yeah I should have uh, clicked in um, uh, using the explorer here but uh, you get the drift anyway this is the sort of thing you can do with um, mouse dot button one up and down with that being done, um, here's the script I made in Script Builder, which is a script based on Anime Batum, which uh, revolves around um, this uh, bomb game called Batum, which is like a first person shooter, except they only use bombs, <laughs> um, and all the, uh, a lot of players get captured, not only players, but and taken to this island where they have to play the game in real life, and um, there's seven types of bombs, 
Uh, this one is a tracker type which um, homes onto a target that the um, user um, homes in on and then the bomb follows them for a while until like the bomb is, like hits or something of it like that. Um, so yeah, it explodes upon contact with the opponent. So here I'll click on this guy in the back. But since he won't move, I'll make it a fair game by moving him myself. And as you can see, the bomb is following him. And I do not disable the bomb. <laughs> and I've made the explosion so precise that um, the blast radius is really small. It's 0 0.62. If it's um, if the part's like name isn't um, head or torso. But if it is heading to head or torso, um, the blast radius will be huge. Also, it does 70 damage, so if um, the player won't survive that damage anyway, it'll go ahead with it and make the explosion huge anyway, because the explosion looks really lame when it's 0 0.62 blast radius, so um, this means that the chance of them like um, dying is really high. Because, <laughs> um, well, I mean, at first, like they can probably survive one bomb and they can get their arm or something. Um, also, it homes into like the part that I clicked, so <coughs> here I'll take the right leg and it will go down to the right leg and bam, it's really 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 precise. I'm really proud of this actually. It's um, a very precise bomb and here I'll aim at the head and this will definitely kill it first shot. Um, so yeah, I made this in script builder, it took about 2 hours total. Um, I love about half an hour to actually get the point up, but the welds were a pain in the neck, I messed up a few times, but first it welds it to your arm, then welds a wee blade to the arm. Um, does a lot with variables, um, says your target, um, and then uh, when it's touched it runs a, f well, it runs a function. Um, also, yeah, also here, um, after all the code's done and it runs the function, it like makes it spin uh, by spinning the welds uh, of the blades. Um, and an explode function, it does a lot of checking and it explodes uh, the blast radius altering between the uh, parts hits. Uh, so yeah, there's like two functions and then the main bit which creates the thing in the first place and um, all that fun stuff is at the bottom. Uh, well anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any comments or anything like that, post it in the comments obviously and uh, please drop me a like and a subscribe if you want to see more videos similar to this one. Goodbye players.